Um, first thing you want to do is the breather hose on the side. Just pull that out. Uh, there is, uh, you got a bolt on each side of the, uh, the battery clamp. Just push the relay off so that it's out of the way. There's also a bolt um, right back here. And this is, you know, provided nobody's ever messed with the with the bike and everything was, you know, or if somebody did mess with the bike and put it all back together the way it's supposed to be. There's a bolt down there that you'll have to take off. Plus one boot clamp on each side for the intake. And so I'm going to pull this off and we'll come back to this in a minute. And for kicks we'll record this while I take it all off. I like to take the igniter off or unbolt it from the air cleaner instead of uh, constantly undoing and connecting, reconnecting all the, the clamps and the electrical connectors because if you snap that fitting off, that's not a good thing. Plus, you just if you leave it connected, then you can fire the bike up without much problem for testing and junk. And try not to drop your socket down on top of the, the frame and stuff. When you go to take this off, just be a little easy with it because there's a bunch of hoses and stuff down there. Also, if you've got a California model, there may be an extra um, plug on the side that you may have to take off. We found Rick found that out on the 03 that he got. And it's out. Uh, for kicks, I dug the manual out. Two to three millimeters. Up and down movement. Anyway. You see that space down there where that's moving? You see how tight it is next to it? If those clamps have been rotated around, remember down here on the boots, they can interfere with the rotation of that shaft. Um, this is your, your throttle open cable. This is your throttle close cable. vacuum line, you get the cruise control deactivation switch. There we go. It sits way back right there. And so the wiring, uh, that's the choke cable that runs crossways. Get the cap out of the way. It attaches right there. So when you 
when you open the or you know close the choke open the choke however you want to say it but all that stuff when you look back down the big holes where the air box attaches to you gotta wiggle that stuff all the way around all that and try not to get it bound up but uh, if you've taken if you had the problem with the the throttle sticking and you've taken the air box off check it now and see if it snaps back if it does snap back then what you want to do is, is is there's normally a clamp uh, that comes across this bolted on underneath this bolt right here that helps hold all this stuff uh, previous owner syndrome has affected this bike greatly and guess what no clamp so if you take the airbox off and all of a sudden that starts working the way it should then you know press this back down to simulate the airbox being there roll your throttle a couple times and if it came back if the stickiness came back then you know your cables are probably too tight down here when I said uh, you know ideally you'd want to when you lube the cables up ideally you'd want to be able to see the end of the cable to know that you got um, you know enough fluid or enough uh, lube down in there um, in order to see that coupler you'd have to pull the battery out um, plus you know you're not always guaranteed to see it because it may dump it straight into the coupler and you know so but in, if you wanted you would have to again pull the battery out in order to get to the coupler uh, you see the barrel nut up top you see the threads right underneath it we're looking at the up and down deal on the left barrel nut up top threads right underneath it there's a nut and then a part of the bracket that holds it and then a nut on the bottom what you want to do is in order to adjust that you've got to undo the nut on the top the bottom one is captured uh, a little bit it's got a little tang on the other side probably two tangs got a tang on the other side that holds it keeps it from turning so that when you when you move the barrel nut you screw it up and down just like adjusting the brakes on an old 10-speed bike and uh, that bottom nut shouldn't move now if you loosen that top nut too much you can push that down it opens up a gap you can push that down and it will unseat that bottom nut and if you're not careful then your cable comes out of the bracket and then you know it's time to go take a break <laughs> so just loosen that top nut a little bit um, depending on how much you screw in that barrel nut it may run that top nut back down against that bracket and may stop it from turning a little bit more so you may have to hold that with a, a wrench but uh, if your throttle is sticking and you tried everything else you may need to uh, you know put a little more slack in it and that's where you would do it both this is the closing cable here on the on this side and the opening cable is on the other side but they're exactly set up the same both with the barrel nuts the the jam nut up top the bracket that it fits in and the uh, the the hold nut or the bottom nut so if you if you want if you take that all apart and you adjust it out and put it back together and you fiddle with it and it still doesn't operate correctly what you may need to do is unseat both cables so that they're not uh, so they're unseat both cables out of the bracket and then push the uh, operate the uh, the throttle shaft and see if it springs back like it should uh, it's rare uh, according to Carl that uh, but it is possible that if you get a shaft in one of the carbs that binds up because they are all they're they're connected you know, they each have their individual shaft, uh, but they are connected in between, and it is possible to have, you know, a bearing or a bushing go bad and start hanging up. Uh, and the only way you'll know that for sure is to disconnect the cables and uh, operate the uh, the shaft independent of having the cables hooked up to verify. You know, and there may not be anything wrong with it, and but you've eliminated that as a possibility. It's you know tricky getting the cables undone uh, and back on. Uh, but you know sometimes you have to go through a little bit of pain to uh, you know for the reward at the end so